Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. As you can see, we're on the load screen because it did kind of stop in the middle of what would be a fairly somewhat lengthy cutscene. I honestly don't even know when the next time we get to save is. I hope it's within the hour. I think it should be. But, again, my, my memory is kind of foggy. I did go through P3 and P4 right after playing P5. So, everything just a tiny bit jumbled up when it comes to certain gameplay aspects. But anyway, on we go! This is literally just gonna plop us down in the middle of a... I believe this scene with Say, I wanna say? I didn't expect to find the world's savior alone on Christmas Eve. Can I talk to you for a minute? First off, thank you for taking my request. With your actions, I can only hope that public opinion changes. It will change, won't it? Uh... I'm sure it will. I believe so, too. Shido confessed to a variety of crimes. We can arrest him on those charges. The problem lies in proving him guilty. It'd be difficult unless the correlation between the metaverse and the mental shutdowns is made. I'll be blunt. I want you to turn yourself in to the police. I'm going to say this right now. I think this is the only part of the game that I do that I dislike in terms of Persona 5 Royal. The whole idea of Joker turning himself into the police to to me at least is kind of stupid. I mean, seriously, you have Shido on a confession already. You don't need much else. If you can at least find maybe one or two papers in Shido's office of Jesus, couldn't they just get phone records? All the calls to Akechi. All the calls to someone like... Jesus, if they just get phone records on Akechi's phone, Jesus. Because they would have, like, every single call from Shido. That's all they would really need. A warrant for Shido's phone, I think, in my personal opinion. But then again, it's just, you're not going to be able to prove the crimes of the metaverse, even with Joker. Because the place is gone now. But I also say, weren't the police in the metaverse for like a few minutes? Wouldn't a few like, oh god, how do you, testimonies from people that were in the metaverse, like the police, work? Your testimony will be necessary in order to prove Shido guilty. However, that will mean placing you on center stage. You'll be treated as a hero who saved this country, but there's no way that the police or the public prosecutors will let that slide. If you turn yourself into the police, you'll definitely be arrested. I'll close all the cases surrounding Shido. I intend to expose them all. It's to prevent society from becoming distorted again. That's what you want too, isn't it? I also say now that I'm thinking about it... it is there even a... Well, I guess in terms of, of Shido, you could put him on murder charges. As they tried to do with us. But apart from that, the whole changing of heart situation isn't necessarily a crime, because it's not blackmail or anything else like that. So... <laughs> it's, it's not like we did anything that was necessarily against the law. At least I don't think. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know every single law by memory, but... you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police of your own accord. There's no need for that. You. If they get their hands on the perpetrator, there'll be no need for him to turn himself in, no? 
You're alive. That appears to be the case. <laughs> you said there's no need. Just what do you mean by that? Exactly as it sounds. I'll agree to testify against Shido and his crimes. I assume that works for you? That's right. I have no hidden agenda at this point. If I had to explain myself, I'd say it's simply personal principle that I repay my debts. For the time being, at least, I'll take your word that you'll cooperate with the investigation. That would save a lot of time. I'm sorry. You can forget everything I just told you. I'll take them in myself. I won't try to claim that everything will turn out perfectly for you, but I would bet this case will reach its natural conclusion. No, in fact, I swear that this will be properly settled. Hey, Makoto. Again, as I said, it's just my personal dislike for that whole situation. I understand why they did it. But I, I, I don't... Per I personally don't understand it. I mean, I, I'm almost certain that Say probably could have found some sort of evidence. Even with the whole conspiracy going on in the background. I mean, seriously. It would just be like a massive... But at, at the end of the day, there would still have to be a massive takedown of every single, like, little situation. The SIU director would have to go down because even the new one is probably was originally in Shido's uh, pocket. You would have to take down the police chief because he was likely in Shido's pocket. You'd basically have to tear down the entire Japanese government and rebuild it. At least... That's what I would think. You have so many different people in Shido's pocket, or that were in Shido's pocket, that are now just trying to work a way out of this. And trying to make sure that they themselves don't get caught. But I get, like, that's even how it goes in Strikers, actually, now that I think about it. Because in Strikers, you have the whole situation where it's like a, if I remember correctly, it's another politician that's basically trying to run everything like Shido was, but without the whole mementos and palace stuff, you have the police still being after Joker for what is no good reason, other than the fact that they're probably just still upset about it. I don't know. I just dislike this, this little situation. I do think that third semester is probably the best written part of this game. <laughs> Definitely has the best villain and everything else. But again, my personal opinion is how I personally feel about it. Sorry about this. I know it's a special day, but that's also why I wanted to see you. Honestly, you always have that charm ready, but thanks. It's just about time for dinner, so why don't we find a place to eat? Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, come to think of it, uh, well, it is a cold Christmas Eve, so... Do you want to hold hands? I can't believe we couldn't find a single table. At least we can try to get a cake here, but... Even this place is so crowded. Th thank you. I feel the same way. Wait, focus. We've got a cake to buy. Let's get going. It doesn't look like I have anything. Oh well. Maybe we'd better find another place. You're not the market for a Christmas cake, are you? Oh, um, we are, actually. Ah, fantastic! One of our orders was cancelled last minute. 
You're kidding. I guess it's your lucky night. So, do you want to buy it? Well, if it's really all right, then yes, we'll take it. Of course. Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. I'm honestly stunned. This kind of thing never happens, right? Sure, we'll go with that. So good. Right? Maybe it was a good thing all the restaurants turned us away. Oh, oh right. Here, before I forget, I got you a present. Um, my life's gotten a lot more unpredictable since I met you, but we got through everything so far. And it's made me realize I wouldn't want it any other way. I thought you might like this watch. Just in case we, uh, lose track of time together. It's really nothing fancy, but I'm glad you like it. Oh, wait. don't laugh this much on Christmas, but I guess it's not just the holidays. Meeting you's helped me see so much humor, even excitement in the most trivial things. You helped me find so many new experiences beyond the life I'd known. Thank you for spending Christmas with me and for loving me. Oh, you. <laughs> Beautiful. Snow must have picked up after we got back. Coming back to LeBlanc really was the smart move. Now, we get to enjoy the view. I didn't know I could be this happy. It almost doesn't feel real. You're right. It's just so different from how things used to be. Hey, it's getting pretty bad out there much snow is bound to stop the train schedules. Hope you don't mind, but I'll be staying a little longer. And then say probably kills Joker. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I made a joke. Again, as I said in an earlier part of this let's play I think I would not want to be a persona protagonist I mean spoiler alert Makoto dies persona 3 protagonist straight up dies um Joker gets arrested for a little bit not to mention the false conviction and everything else that happens to him at the beginning of the game the only like modern persona protagonist that would be comfortable with being is you because nothing truly actually horrible happens to the man. I mean, yeah, sure, he's in a town where there's a whole bunch of murders going on. Murders? Mur mur murders? Murders going on. But apart from that, he has an uncle who cares about him, uh, a cousin who is almost, almost treats him like a big brother. Uh, he still has his parents, his parents obviously care about him, even though they had to go... I think it was... I don't remember Persona 4 very well. I think they had to go to the U.S. or something. They had to travel for their jobs, and they sent you to live with his uncle for a little bit. Oh, well, you know, I haven't played the golden section of Persona 4, so I probably can't really speak about that, but... Hey, you know, wouldn't want to be a Persona protagonist. I would rather just be... Like, a party member in a Persona game. That's what I would want to be. If I if I had to choose, that's what I would choose. I would be a party member rather than a protagonist. He turned himself into the police. Sis told me.
told me yesterday. He's admitted to being the perpetrator behind the recent cases. So he's alive. But Ketchy couldn't survive and owned up to what he did. Well, I feel it's for the best. If Akechi Kun is alive and he can atone for his crimes, that's not a bad turn of events. Right. Ain't that all stuff to be happy about? Mm hmm. It's Christmas. We should enjoy the day to our heart's content. I approve. Let everyone be merry to the max. I'm the one who should be giving permission, you know. Well, as long as you don't go overboard. I guess you can go ahead and cut loose today. Hell yeah! Merry Christmas! He didn't hear a word of that. <sighs> Fine. My, this is quite a sight. I'm going to be entirely honest. I wasn't able to bring a dish. Instead, leave the dishwashing duties to me. I'll make sure they turn out beautifully immaculate. Hmm. Why don't we all just clean up together? So, who brought what? I brought that marinated seafood. Mmm! Oh, that's super good! It may not be to everyone's taste, but I brought that cheese plate. Artistically, that I hesitate to sample it. When it comes to sweets, on truly has a beat. But then, who brought this box over here? Ooh, this looks like more sweets. Not mine, by the way. Uh, me? Kind of? Yuji brought sweets? Ryuji and sweets? Sweets. Hey, what are you guys getting at? Just a bit unexpected is all. I had expected something along the lines of meat. But for some reason, chicken comes to mind when I think of you. Ryuji, chicken. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that in any sort of comparative way. Please don't keep going. It just hurts even more. Did you hear what I just said? Come on, don't get all depressed. Everyone's here to party. Everyone. Oh. Mona-chan. I was trying my best not to mention it, but it's hard to avoid. If only Mona could be here with us. Someone call for me? Yeah, we were just talking about... Huh? Wait, what? No way! I thought you disappeared! Looks like the only me that disappeared was the one in the metaverse. So, you stayed in reality as a cat? When I woke up, I was out in Shibuya looking like this. I headed back here right away, but it took a surprising amount of time. If you were coming back here, you should have told us, moron! We were so worried! Sheesh. <laughs> well... I brought my own surprise back, too. I brought some fried chicken. This doesn't have anything to do with your conversation earlier, though. <laughs> Any room left on the table? Oh, now there's our cheap for ya. Talk about everything falling into place. Come on, let's get started. We're gonna party to celebrate our hard work and my grand return. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Whoa! Ow, that kind of hurt.
<laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself, cat. Sure. Put it right here. Just in case. Whoa! That was just a skip over five days, huh? It's certainly unique. Oh, you've recognized its unique beauty as well. I'd say it's a little too unique. <laughs> this fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's gonna get soggy on you. Ah, uh, yes, my apologies. Thank you for the food. It's chat time. Mmm, so good. Soccer son. You made these noodles yourself, right? They're amazing! You could open a soba restaurant! Oh, thanks. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill... Seconds, please! How fast do you eat? You eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do, Yoshizawa-san. Uh, her stomach's bottomless. Seriously? While being that thin? Senpai, don't kid them so much. I'm not kidding. That's not a joke. It's totally normal. No, it's not. Breaking news on our top story. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. It's finally happening. I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. And that would be? The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. I can't say for certain yet, but his criminal record may very well be overturned. For real? Then that's wonderful! Congratulations, Senpai! Of course, this is highly confidential, got it? But great news! Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. This is incredible! It's an actual real life good ending! And after that, the two hour New Year special of Tokyo Vice. A thrilling tale jam packed with some of the network's most famous faces. I'll never give up! I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Oh, yeah, he's a model turned actor. With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. So he's popular, eh? If I were more like that human, maybe Lady Arm would. The year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how 
that people are spending it all across the country. Now that I'm thinking about it, hell of a lot sure did happen this year. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. <laughs> well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. <laughs> Then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, right? Please don't go there, Senpai. I don't think I see that happening. <laughs> okay, that's the fine. 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 <laughs> fine. <laughs> alone. I mean, what do we even do as an honor student? <sighs> so much has happened over the past 12 months. But in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Yeah, I don't have any proof. But I feel like next year is gonna be even better for us. I feel the exact same way. How strange. Well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end of year celebration. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight. And this crowd is... I really don't want to get going, but it seems like it's time. See you next year, right? Next year? Sojiro, Osenji time! Get those New Year's dishes ready! Chop chop! And don't forget the black beans! Yeah, yeah, I hear you. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Don't worry about the food. You just go have a good night's sleep. Tell this to the others, okay? But even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious, and being separated from all of you was really scary. I thought, if it's even a little bit possible, I wanted to come home to you guys. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. Hi. Yeah. Thanks. Well, it's pretty late. Let's get to sleep. I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this. Welcome to Persona 5 Royal, where it never bloody ends. Oh, that's creepy. Can't even run, I have to walk. Get awesome results of track meets alongside everyone else on the team, and eventually I get a hold of some scholarships for college to make things easier for everyone. Oh. Hey, a light blue butterfly. I know who that is. That was Ryuji and On. Are we going to hear the rest of them? My sister's been supporting my family. It's unrealistic to demand any more of her. I'm having a close up with this crowd with my father watching over me. 
I like how we're actually hearing all these things. Next would be Yusuke, I want to say, right? That would be the next voice we hear. If we even hear it. Which we aren't, I guess. Welcome to the third semester. We thought it was over. It ain't. Good morning. Oh, that was gonna be voice acted. It's not. <sighs> um. Oh, we have a cutscene here, don't we? Like an actual animated cutscene, I think. <laughs> so, let's start writing these puppies down. Uh, first thing that looks like something's wrong. First little sign. Who am I? Are you still half asleep or something? Second sign! Sorry, I don't want to be late to the shrine. More showing off comes later. Well, time to make like a tree. To make a third shrine, isn't it? What do you think we should do? Well, perhaps we don't need to go this year. We don't have any more wishes that need granting. I actually really like this outfit for Joker, too. Like, I think this is, like, one of the only times... No, wait. Does he wear it throughout the entirety of third semester? Or is it just, like, this one time? Do I look weird? 
short notice. I couldn't send you a New Year's card, so here we are. Well, shall we? I wonder why. There aren't many people here at all. It's really unexpected. I'd almost prefer the usual crowd. Few hours ago. Mm -hmm. Believe it or don't, only 364 days until the next one. That is true. But I know I'm gonna use the wrong year for a while. Well, I have an idea. New Year's party tonight to help switch gears? Huh? Didn't expect you to here. <laughs> Due to this fortuitous turn of fate, I am able to witness this mesmerizing sight. Truly the embodiment of Japanese beauty. What are you doing, Kitagawa Senpai? Just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. So, what do you want to do after this? If we've got the time for it, why don't we grab something to eat together? I'm sorry, I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. I have somewhere to be as well. Me too. I'll be dining with my father somewhere. I'm gonna hit up some New Year's sales with my mom. Well, looks like you're all busy. And maybe you should hit up the track team and see what they're up to. Ooh, I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans yet. Well, I guess we'll all just go to our own thing then. <coughs> What's wrong with me today? I already forgot. <laughs> well, we did just run into everyone else. Maybe that was your wish. Me? Well, oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? It's from my dad. Um, he's telling me that some relatives have come over to the house. So, I have to go home and spend some time with them. He decided to come all the way out to the station to get me. My family is kind of serious about their get-togethers. I'm really sorry. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least allow me to accompany you to the station. You should hold on to your sleeve. That is your dress kimono, after all. Mm. Who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. This is my senpai. The one I told you about before? My senpai who's done so much for me. Oh, so you're her senpai. My daughter talks about you all the time. Dad, not all the time. Is that not so? I was told you picked these out for me, too. I know it's pretty late for it, but thank you all the same. Dad wears them all the time, even at work. I'm quite the fan of them. Well, shall we get going? What? Hmm? Something wrong? Nothing. Well then, Senpai, please excuse us.
Oh my god, that's actually adorable. Oh my god! That is literally adorable. Is this when it happens? Would you join the Phantom Thieves? Why is that the question? <laughs> what the hell? What's up? I'd punch him in the face. <laughs> if I woke up and there was somebody next to me like that, Especially if it's like somebody who I didn't exactly know the name of, as you can see on the damn screen, I'd punch them in the face! Even though I do know who that is, but still, weird. Who am I? Hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. What's going on? Are you just still sleeping? Your lunch is gonna pull a vanishing act if you don't come down soon. Ooh. Oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in a sec. These beans are the best! They're all perfectly shaped and so shiny. Yep, something, something's definitely wrong. Your recipes have reached housewife level quality. You trying to get hitched sometime soon? <laughs> Thanks, but no. Hey, come join us. Try the sweet black beans. They'll change your life. Good morning. <laughs> Sphinx lady. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to choose the funny answers. Oh, is this your first gag of the new year? <laughs> Drunk on the spirit of the new year already, huh? I'll warn you not to try any pranks with Wonka. It will only blow up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally bores herself. You know me too well. <laughs> You're supposed to be dead. Your work and your kid were so fulfilling for him. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? What's up? Not feeling so good? He's been like this since yesterday. Morning, Mona. Morning. Did you have Bosechi for me to join you? <laughs> Don't tell me. Don't tell you what? Morgana's arrived for breakfast? If I were Joker, I'd have a huge headache by the end of the <laughs> by the end of the first day I'd have a huge headache. At this point my head's exploded. <laughs> Yeah, I, w I would think so. Okay, that's enough joking around for now. Go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hungry. Thank you for the food. I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. I'm stuffed too. If only I had something to cap off this meal. Like a cup of coffee? Boy, that was a subtle request. Oh, does anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up. My treat. You want a Mont Blanc, right, Mom? Oh, how kind. Thank you. All right, I shall return. Be careful. <laughs> What's the matter? We haven't opened for the day yet. My apologies. I merely wish to speak with him for a moment. Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? I'll stand guard over your dessert for you. You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll suspect it was an inside job. 
I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the golf. You know, don't you? That something's wrong? Yeah! That's what I need. We're gonna talk about this in a laundromat? Really? What's happening? That seems as good a place to begin as any. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? Yeah. Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. Obviously, I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. But for some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. Uh huh? I agree. No matter how one attempts to rationalize it, my release is extremely unusual. More than that, it should be impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. But what's even more unbelievable to me is... That's right. Wakaba Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. I should get to the point. Let's make a deal. Let's say we join forces on this. What would we even do, good sir? I want to investigate what exactly is happening here. I'm fairly certain you wish to find out the same thing, no? For the time being, you and I share the same goal. To solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? Have you made up your... I guess I don't have a choice. Allow me to remind you that we are equals in this endeavor, understand? Anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. First, I need information. Can you tell me what happened after parting ways with me in Shido's palace? Long story, but all right. I see. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the new year. And all of the phantom thieves, with you as the sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Go ahead. Senpai, it's Yoshizawa. I'm in Odaiba right now, and, uh... Oh, what happened? Well, Akechi, I've got our first lead. It was Yoshizawa-san's voice, wasn't it? I believe I heard her say the word palace. I guess she has spotted one. Despite not being in the metaverse. You're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. Now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? We just happened to be together when he got your call. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? 
Really? Does that mean you're also... Allow me to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um. You can tell him. Yes, I can use the Persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seem to care at all about its appearance. Hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. You mean, we should go into the palace? Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? That is, if we have the means to do so. Oh, it's... It's also a different color. I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the nav. I have it as well. Is there a search history? Search history? How do I check... Ah, there's one search in the log, but... Ugh. The name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? Does that mean we can't enter the palace? Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. If you're going in, would you be willing to bring me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something has been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. I promise I won't slow you down. What's your call? The more Persona users, the better. That settles it. All right. Let's do it. Now that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. I'm gonna state it. This is probably the best palace in the game. And it definitely has what is likely the best music for any palace in the game. The whole third semester section of this game is just fantastic through and through. Let's just get into it. It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Is that so? By the way, um... What's the matter? Well, I'm not sure how to put it. Wearing that one, huh? That one? Oh, you mean this old thing? Yoshi's always on the side. There's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. Enough chatting. Let's move out. Yay, fun. Do I have a... Hold on. A... Oh! Wait, is this a joke? I don't have... Huh? Well, I also can't teleport from here. But I don't even see Velvet Room access anywhere. Uh-oh. Not the biggest fan of that. This is also weird, running around with a party that's not our main party. 
Zilker's probably gonna be the strongest of the current P. Oh, definitely. Actually, now that I think about it, especially with Raul and the whole concentrate. That 57 magic. It's concentrated level 65. It's at level 64. 25,000 to the next level. It's a treasure chest. I don't see any. It's quite a lot. Door on that side seems locked more than likely. I are we about to have a battle here? I think we are. Of those geysers, you aren't among those who desire salvation. <laughs> we have business here. into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes. Ready whenever. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a bloodbath. Uh, so I will say, I also very much like how we get to see more in depth We get to see a little bit more in-depth to Akechi's insane side, which is just kind of funny. The voice actor did a really good job with Akechi, I will say. Uh, colossal physical damage to one full, 126 HP. Holy shit. Why am I the one with the most amount of HP? I don't even... Wait, Persona stats. Here we go. Uh, that's a lot more physical than magical. Holy. So yeah, just go ahead and do this. Holy. Uh, don't mind me. I'm gonna concentrate. Uh, you are also definitely more physically oriented. oriented. I can't speak English. You did way less damage than I catch you. And I just dodged everything. I didn't give a damn. That doesn't even look like a gun strike. That just looks like straight up magic. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, that is big boy problem. Uh-oh. I wonder if that works. I need to... I need to test that. Can you... I mean, there's only one way to really tell. Holy shit! What does that deal more than your colossal skill, Akechi? I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Except for the part where we almost died. 
seriously considering the last minute arrangement of our team and all? Uh, Yoshizawa san? Uh, yes. So that shadow, it said something about research, and also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Um, so, I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi-san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a... a ruthless sort of person. <laughs> Just everyday Akechi! What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. Okay. Uh, hold on, just uh, I need a little bit of healing, so causing me just uh, boop and boop and the boop. Not like you're gonna need that SP for anything other than uh, can this door open? Nope, it is sealed shut. I don't know when I get my next save, I don't know where the next save room is. Uh, so we're just gonna keep on moving until we hit a save room. <laughs> Joker's just like, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna hit level 71, baby. I need to get a throwaway persona so that I can level up King Frost so I can get concentrate. And here's our save room. It's a safe room. Alrighty then. So we're gonna end today's episode right here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon to get notified when I make a new video. I upload a new video every single day of the week at 5.30 p.m. EST. Today's question of the day, as a party member, who do you prefer? Uh, Yoshizawa-san or Akechi? Which one do you like more? I think I'd probably have to say Yoshizawa. Uh, even though Akechi is really cool. Actually, you know what? No, I take it back. I think I would have to say Akechi. Akechi's moves are just cooler. Uh, but apart from that, thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you all on the next episode of Persona 5 Royal right after we heal up the team. Yes, I'm ready when you are. All right, I might have actually, hold on, actually, let me check something very quickly before I end the episode. I think I might have used that question already. Uh, search... We already did use a catchy or Cosme. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, shoot. So what can we use then? Um. Oh, I know. Oh, Morgana's cat form or human form? Which do you prefer? Actually, let's let's get let's let's be a little bit more specific. Morgana's. Regular cat form, his, um, mementos slash palace form, or his human form? Which is your favorite? That's the question. 
I already used the catch of your Cosme. I can't use that again. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Persona 5 Royal.